question 3.2. So we have to simplify this into a single trigonometric ratio for six marks. All right, so definitely going to need the cost diagram. And then we should remember that this is sin, cos, whoa, tan, <laughs> and cos. Okay, so x minus 180 is not on the cost diagram. We only have 180 minus x. So what we do, now remember, remember the golden rule. If it is not on cost diagram, you can add or minus 360 as many times as you need to until it is on the cost diagram. So for example, the sin of x minus 180, I can simply add 360 to that. And that all of a sudden becomes sin of x plus 180. But when you plus, order doesn't matter, right? I mean, 3 plus 5 is the same as 5 plus 3. It's 8 and 8. So you can say 180 plus x. And so sin of 180 plus x is now this quadrant, where sin is negative. So it becomes negative sin x. So this whole thing is just going to become negative sin x. OK, now cos x minus 90. Now that's a challenging one. The reason is, is that in grade 11, we only learned four of these things. Let me show you. Take you down memory lane. These are the four that we knew from grade 11. Um, and these were the different answers. And here they come with this. Um, and, and this little rule doesn't work with that, with these 90 ones. So here's my advice. There is a way to change this. It's very complicated though. There's this long technique that we learned in grade 11. Not all schools were taught it. I know that for a fact, only some teachers show it. So my advice is, you are now in grade 12. So you can actually treat this as a compound angle. Yes, one day when you start making money in your job, remember me. I just told you that. Um, this, you can treat it as a compound angle. And if you're in a test, by the way, and you get a little bit stuck, um, you can technically use these compound formulas. Of course, there's the other ones that have the pluses, if you need to. You can use those formulas on any of these. So Kevin, why didn't they just tell us that in grade 11? Well, they wanted you to memorize it because it will take too long if we had to go do all of, if we had to go use these compound angles the whole time. But when you get to something that's awkward like this, use the compound angle. So x minus 90, and that's this one. So it just becomes cos x, cos 90, plus sin x, sin 90. And so that's just, now cos 90 is 0, so that just all falls away. Sin x, and then sin 90 is 1. So this whole answer just becomes sin x. How cool is that, guys? We just hacked the system. And so that's sin x over there. OK, now cos of minus x minus 360 is not even close to that. So now we can use this rule. If it is not on the cost diagram, add or minus 360. This one we're going to have to add. Um, that'll work best there. So we can say that that's going to be equal to cos of minus x minus 360 plus 360. And that's just going to cause the 360s to cancel. And so that's going to give us cos negative x. Now, still not great. So what we do now is we can add 360 again. Now when you add, the order doesn't matter. And so that becomes 360 minus x. Now that's on the cost diagram. And cos is positive in that quadrant. So it just becomes cos x. So this would eventually just become cos x. Now this is a co-function, which I showed you just now. Remember, I showed you the 4. Um, but if you ever forget, remember, use the compound angles. All right. So just use the compound angles, as I just said. And it'll be fine. But if you do memorize it, or if you have memorized it, you would know that this one just becomes cos x. And so if we go rewrite everything, we're going to get negative. Sorry if you hear my dog in the background. Um, she seems to bark at certain times. It's so annoying. And then the next part became sin x. And then at the bottom here, we've got cos x and then cos x. OK, so we're going to have at the top a uh, negative sin squared x, and at the bottom, cos squared x. And so sin over cos is tan, and so if you have a square, that's okay. It just becomes negative tan squared of x.